What's up? My name is Devin. I also go by Infinite or Pop by Infinite. And today, I'm going to show y'all how I make beats for Young Sobe. Rest in peace. You feel me? So, I ain't going to lie. Like, this is probably one of my favorite loops that I've made within this dark West Coast style thing. You feel me? Uh, and I'm going to show y'all the loop first. I'm going to break down the loop. And then we're going to cook up some drums on top of it because I just dropped my new drum kit today. The Multiverse Drum Kit. You feel me? Oh, it's going to go so crazy, bro. First of all, first week only, $30. After the first week, it's going to be 40 You feel me? And if you wait too long and you have to get it for the 40 just don't don't come crying to me, bro. I'm hooking you up with a little discount for the first week. You feel me? Don't, don't, don't say I ain't never did nothing for y'all. You feel me? And also, there will be a free demo version of the drum kit in the description below. So, just in case you ain't got the money to go get the full kit, you can still enjoy a lot of the sounds. And when I say a lot of the sounds, I mean a lot of the sounds. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into this loop right now. now for the breakdown section we're gonna go through it real quick because there is a lot of elements here and i don't want to waste too much of your time you feel me so the very first thing that i started off with is these keys right here you feel me y'all know i'm gonna hook y'all up with the presets and everything so grand door piano eq delay reverb you know what i mean and I just start off with this simple little pattern right here. You feel me? Sometimes when you're making a beat or you're making a loop from scratch, you don't have to start off with this grand, complex, crazy idea to make a loop. You feel me? Sometimes you can just start off with something small and get the ball rolling and then just start adding on and adding on and adding on. You feel me? To get like a cool product. You know what I mean? So this is what it started off with right here. See, and that's it right there. You know what I mean? And then after that, I went into Xenology, got the regular harp right here, number 306. I threw a flanger on it. You know what I mean? This is stock within FL Studio. Threw some reverb on it. And I also just ducked down the highs a little bit with the EQ right here. And then making this melody is much more easy than what you think. You feel me? All I'm really using is like the root note of the scale that we're in, which is D right here. Pause. And I'm just using like these little notes are right next to each other. So you see how it goes like D pause. And then it'll have these two like little notes that are right next to each other. Then it'll go to a blank one right here. A whoop. And then the little ones that are right next to each other. You're going to mess with the. You're going to mess with the root note. <laughs> you're going to mess with the root note. And then you're going to mess with the ones that are right next to each other. You know what I mean? And that's how I really made this melody right here. I just kind of like stuck to those three spaces. Now you might just be sitting there thinking like infinite. Why is there this giant space within your melody? You know what I mean? Because usually with like melodies like this, they'll go off like this. Like... just keep on going sometimes when you just take out certain elements of like a melody or like drums and stuff like that it can actually make it more bouncy and that's what my goal was with this right here i just felt like if i took out this part right here and i replaced it with like a different sound like this right here i felt like it can make it like more bouncy and more interesting you feel me then the next sound right here was a one shot from my previous drum kit the infamous go to drum kit it's called the deep piano preset. It's just, you can really do this with any piano. I just wanted to have it as a one shot just so I could just quickly drag it in and not have to use CPU and stuff like that. But realistically, you can open up SRX Piano, Grand Door, Nor, Keyscape, FL Keys 2. I've seen people do that for sure. You feel me? And you could just like get a really like low, low note, turn the velocity all the way up and go crazy like that. But like I said, this is just more for convenience. You know what I mean? 
And then no effects on this. I didn't really need any effects. I was really just using it for layering and that's it. Okay, and then after that, I got this arc right here called Jackpot. Actually, I don't remember whose preset this is. Let's give him a let's give him a shout out real quick. Who's that? Uh, Lewis Flynn. This is probably from a uh, loophole. Then I think it's from the first loophole, or one of the, one of the three loophole things. You feel me? So this is just an arc. I put effect rack on it. You feel me? Shout out the forty fourth floor. Threw reverb on it. And I threw delay on it so it kind of like tail off and fade out and everything like that. And this is what it sounds like right here. You know what I mean? Like I could have used like a piano, a guitar, a synth, a pad, anything. But I specifically chose an harp just because it was going to give it a lot of movement. You know what I mean? Like the harp was moving so much and then the harp like stopped. And I just brought in another thing that had like a lot of movement too. Just... And I felt like it just gave it more character to the loop. All right, so now, as you can see, the very first four sounds, there isn't really like a chord that starts in the beginning. So I was like, let me get something in here that can make the loop feel a little bit more present, a little bit more stable, a little bit more full. So you know I had to hit up my boy Lifestyle Diddy, you feel me? So we gotta go right here, go right here, go right here. The guitar and bell preset, which is in the gloom bank that he dropped this one's actually like a crazy preset i ain't gonna lie bro this, my boy snapped on it bro watch did this little chord right here is a little weird thing i don't know bro it's just i was just throwing down notes you feel me but just just peep the preset though peep the preset <laughs> my boy going crazy you feel me Shout out Lifestyle did it, bro. If y'all ain't got that gloom bank, you need to go get it, you feel me? Then I got another one shot from my old drum kit. You feel me? I did this little trick right here, and it sounds like this. And if you were ever curious, like, how to get that little, what, whoa, like, type of sound, what you have to do is you have to open up the sound right here, go to the envelope, and you have to copy this right here. So delay all the way down, attack all the way down, decay all the way down. Sustain all the way down, release all the way down, and hold all the way up. You know what I mean? If it's like this right here, you're golden. And basically, what that does is that it lets you start and stop the notes exactly when they start and stop. So, like, if I press this key right here, and I hold it down, it'll play the whole way through. But if I just press it real quick and I just put my hand back up, you'll hear it, like, stop immediately. You feel me? You feel me? And then that's how you could do little things like this where it goes bam bam. You know what I mean? And then one more one shot from my old drum kit. You feel me? A little wah sound. All this got is just a bunch of delay and reverb on it. You feel me? The reverb right here. And then just the built in delay that's in like FL Studio. This little section right here. <laughs> And then if you look with the next sound, I kind of like layered it low key. You feel me? But with this one, I did like a slide note. So it hits like on the on, on the D note. You feel, I hate working in D minor, but I'm never using D minor again. And then it slides down to the, the, the other D note. You feel me? And it just makes like this really cool effect. If y'all are looking for this sound right here, it is in the... I believe the exclusive vault kit. Yeah, the multi kit, one shot. Yeah, this is a base right here. I mean, that's where it is. If you guys need this kit right here, it is on Gatekeep Sounds. Link in the description. Y'all know the whole thing. And then after that, I went to the multiverse drum kit, got to the synth bass section, and I got the practice bass. You feel me? Like real, real, real sack esque. You feel me? Real Stockton esque bass right here and I laid down this pattern super super simple nothing too crazy now with this bass the only thing I did was you feel me just cut out all the, the all the high end basically like all the high end is non-existent 
And that's just why I wondered with the loop, because because everything in here was already going so crazy. There's just already a lot of frequencies going on, so I just wanted to cut out the high end just so the bass fit in there like nicer. You know what I mean? Then I got this vocal from Arcade. Y'all are always asking me for the Arcade preset, so here you go. Ancient message, you know what I mean? And I chose these notes for the melody right here. And this one right here, it's not like a different preset. The sharp notes actually like alter like the regular notes and everything. Y'all y'all see when I play it, you feel me? And then for the effects on that, I just turned it down a lot. Got an EQ to take out a lot of the highs and basically all the lows and some of the low mids. And then I just threw on a lot of reverb just to make it like more ambient, more in the background and everything like that. And that was basically it for the whole loop, you feel me? Now, let's start cooking up some drums. All right, so let's get this loop real quick. Drop it up in here. And then low key, bro, like I kind of want to go over the drum kit real quick. You feel me? So this is the full drum kit right here. It is royalty free and that does go for the loops as well and the MIDI. So it does come with 30 loops going crazy. You feel me? I'm gonna play a couple of them real quick just because I'm really, really proud of these loops. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Also comes with all the MIDI for all the loops and everything like that. You see your guitar, top line guitar, pad, synth bass, everything, bro. And it also comes with the FLPs as well. And then also got a whole bunch of drum MIDI too. Hi-hats, snares, open hats, 808 patterns, just everything you need. 808 patterns for West Coast, clap patterns for West Coast, hi-hat patterns for West Coast. And you feel me? Then we got all the regular stuff like 808s, claps, hi-hats, kicks, open hats, perks, perk loops, rims, risers, everything like that. But I want to talk about my favorite part of this drum kit, which is easily like the beat builders part. You feel me? Like, and this is one of my favorite parts of the drum kit because I don't really see other producers doing stuff like this. They're basically all like percussion and sound effects loops that you would actually use to like spice up your beats. So as opposed to like a regular perk loop where it's like this, where it's kind of like you would use it as a layer or maybe to add extra bounce. This is adding actual like, I don't know how to explain it, you feel me? Actually, I'll just show y'all cause like, like let's say I wanted to throw like, like some sack lasers in there. Boom, we could just drag it, drop it in. It's already time stretched and everything like that. So now I just gotta just put it into the key, which is like A minor to D minor, which is one, two, three, four, five. You just gotta go up five. You feel me? So now when you play the loop. That was kind of hard. We, I, that, I might keep that in there. I might keep that in there. <laughs> you also just got other stuff like this. You know I mean, you could just like throw that in your beat and then it'll instantly like sauce it up. You feel me? You feel me? Like you throw that into a trap beat, it's going to sauce it up. You feel me? Then you just throw your hi-hats on, your your snares and whatever and everything like that. You finna go crazy. Like even this, like watch, we can just drag one of these in here. Watch. See, it's already time stretched. See, it says 98 BPM. We're at 90 BPM for like the, the actual beat, but it's perfectly stretched in. You feel me? Watch. We might have to keep that in there. <laughs> we might have to that sounded too good that sounded too good to like not keep in here actually so you know what let's take these sack lasers and take that whole beat builder section right there 
Then we just copy it up for the whole loop. Then we can just start throwing some drums on top. You feel me? So, man, without further ado, let's just start cooking up, man. So, let's just take all these right here. You can throw them up here. And I want to throw an 808 on top. So, I'm going to take an EQ. And we're just going to cut out all this low end right here for the loop. You know what I mean? So, like, the bass from the loop doesn't really clash with the bass from the 808. Which 808 are we going to get? Probably the first one. The first one's just like a... Come on, it's like my favorite one. <laughs> Y'all see me use 808s like this all the time. Turn off loop points. Throw it onto the mixer track. Make sure cut itself is on. Let's just throw something down real quick. Turn out the loop a little bit. Let's do this and then we can do like a slide note. Oh wait, wait! Before we keep on going, the hi hat rolls. The hi hat. We didn't. We didn't talk about the hi hat roll. We didn't talk about the hi hat rolls. These are crazy, bro. Watch, watch. Crazy, right? Crazy. These are my favorite ones right here. The EBK roll 2.0s. These ones are. These are my favorite ones, bro. Watch. Yeah, you know I mean, so if you ever heard like the little Puda roll, the D dot Will roll, the whatever you want to call it roll. Um, this is just like a different variation that I've made from scratch Just kind of like trying to replicate it and also just put my own spin on it You feel me? So we're just gonna bring this in here right now as you see it's 90 BPM We're at 90 BPM. So we don't need to do nothing to it. All we need to do is just drag and drop it in <laughs> This, and then we can just switch it up at the end right here. Oh, what if we just do like a four count like that? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Now let's just get a clap real quick. Y'all saw how easy it was to make this beat with this drum kit. You feel me? Like, that was actually insane. It sounds so good, too. Like, y'all saw the whole process, bro. Like, like, trust me, I did not cut out anything crazy. You can look at, like, the master channel. You feel me? You can look at everything else. I didn't really do anything. This is just cutting out the low end. I didn't really do anything. Like, this is, like, um wow <laughs> well 
Oh. That's how you make beats for Young Sloby. That's how you make EDK beats. Beats for Young Jock. Beats for J-Bo. They would all go crazy on this, bro. So, with that being said, if you like the video, I hope you like the video. I'm in awe right now, bro. Because, <laughs> like, I made the kit. I finished it, like, this week. And I haven't really done, like, much testing on it. So, I'm just kind of surprised. Like, I haven't used, like, the beat builders yet in my beats. Um, so, I'm just kind of shocked a little bit. Because that was really easy. I have never had such an easy time making beats. And I just didn't expect that with this drum kit. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, uh, if y'all like the beat, if y'all like the beat, if y'all like the video, hit like on the video. You feel me? If you want to comment, throw a comment. If you want to sub, hit the sub too. You feel me? And remember, the Multiverse Drum Kit is out now. It's going to be $30 for the first week. And then every other week after that, it will be raised to 40 So if you didn't get it during the first week, I don't want to hear nothing, bro. I don't want to hear nothing, bro.